today's subscription spot, we are having a look at the Battle Box Survival and Tactical Gear delivered monthly. This is the July 2015 subscription box from the folks over at Battle Box. You can go to www.battlebox, that's B A T T L box.com, and you can have an assortment of survival gear delivered to your house every single month. Uh, I gotta say also too, not only is this one of the biggest boxes I've seen come to, uh, well, come to my post office for me to pick up, but it's also one of the heaviest. I'm quite interested in finding out what we're gonna get inside here. Uh, super also impressed by the last box that uh, we opened from the folks over at Battle Box. Again, can't wait to get this opened up. I got a Hank here. I got my knife Hank here. And let's cut the tape that's located on the front of the Battle Box. And let's find out what goodies we got this month. Again, you get a selection of survival gear, things that you would need to live out in the wilderness, things that can help you if you're in the great outdoors. Well, let's find out what we got in this month's box. First things first, we have Bushcraft Box. See the links and videos on our site, www.battlebox.com forward slash what's in the box. Or you can scan the QR code at the bottom right corner, bottom left corner of your mobile device. You got it? Uh, the basic value, advanced value, pro value, and pro plus value. Uh, the difference also too is the, obviously the things that you're gonna get inside. Like for example, the pro plus box, uh, the Perkin knives, you get the Damascus uh, bushcraft knife with weather sheath, or leather sheath and sharpener, $110 uh, value. It says also don't forget to share your battle box box dumps on our social media sites for a chance to win more gear. Put that to the side. First thing we're gonna have a look at is the fire starter safe, versatile, and easy. It's all natural, it works with harsh conditions. Each pouch lights up to four fires. It also contains no harmful chemicals, which is also a big thing for me too. I mean, it's nice to have things that easily start fires, but really the last thing you wanna be doing is starting fires with harsh chemicals. At least this does not have that. It's suitable for campfire, fireplace, cooking, charcoal, and emergencies. This is something that you would wanna also carry around, I would think in your car, even if you're not one that is camping on a regular basis. Something like this can come extremely handy if, for example, your car breaks down out in the middle of nowhere and you need to start a fire to stay warm. So crucial to have this in your emergency kits. On the back, it lights wet wood, burns at nearly 1,000 degrees, burns on snow, water, and ice. It's non-volatile, no unexpected flare-ups. It has a long burn time of 10 to 15 minutes, waterproof pouch, no harmful chemicals. It's safe to store near food, and Instafire's Insta leftover ash is a natural fertilizer. It nourishes the earth. Instructions, pour Instafire into pile. Light rock part of Instafire with a match or lighter and place wood over flame, making certain not to smother the fire. This comes to us again from the folks over at Instafire, www.instafire.com. Get that, put that to the side. The next thing we'll have a look at is the Thompson Survival Kit, manufactured by Thompson Snares, www.thompsonsnare.com. Two snares, tire, a tie wire, and instructions. Uh, it's for survival, Kerry Thompson self-locking steel snare. Directions enclosed for staring, muskrat, mink, rabbits, skunk, similar sized animals. Used since World War II in US Armed Force Survival Kits. Manufactured again by thompsonsnares.com. Again, like, I'm not necessarily one for hunting, but, I mean, if, again, if you're stuck in the, in the forest, your car's broken down, you, you know, you're out in the middle of nowhere, you also need to survive too. So something like this, as well as the the uh, the fire starters can come really handy. So I'll put that to the side. We have this. This is, I think, what is the heaviest aspect of the box is this piece right here. There is a just a plat little tape sealing it there. We're going to cut the tape there. Cut the tape on the other side, and let's open this up and see what we got. This, let's see here, a little bit of tape. Right away, I'm immediately greeted with a what looks to be a real leather sheath. Perkin leather sheath. 
That feels like that's a good solid leather too. That's very nice. And it looks like we also have ourselves have ourselves the main blade. This is what is the heaviest aspect of this box. Got the wrap. Of course, I don't have to tell you that with Battle Box, it's the kind of subscription spots, subscription videos where I would have to stress, this is not something that you would want to be, this is not a, a kid subscription box that you want to get every single month to your door. Um, as it goes with the other things that we've had a look at on this channel, there's different subscription boxes geared for every age and, and uh, enthusiast out there. This is definitely geared towards more the adults, especially when you're dealing with sharp knives. And I can't stress that enough. You know, this is not something that you would want to be getting on a monthly basis if you're young age. I myself would, am being very careful with this also. This, this has weight. It's extremely sharp too, so be, you know, be careful. I haven't, don't worry, I haven't cut myself, but do be very careful with stuff like this. But wow, there, there is some serious weight to this knife. It's hard to actually even tell that in the video, but believe you me, this is a sharp knife. And something again that when you get it immediately, you want to make sure you put it in your sheath so that uh, you know you're not going to cut yourself and you're not going to hurt anyone around you. I'm just going to put that in there very carefully. I'm going to put that to the side. Also, something too I didn't mention with the last battle box that we opened up. Uh, the battle box, I, actually, I might even mention it in the video. The packing material that was inside that kind of uh, paper like material even indicates on the front save all your natural packaging material for fire tinder so essentially that stuff that was in not so much this bag because this box doesn't have as much it's got more things in it so it didn't have as much um, of the material but like stuff like that you can hold on to and again use for for kindling for, for the uh, first fires and whatnot I'm not quite sure what this is let's have a look inside Oh, it's a little pouch, a battle box. Looks like a multi-pocket sheath, a little pocket holder, something you clip onto your belt. Oh, look at that. It's actually a wallet or the section to a wallet, the equivalent of a wallet, but it has all the pouches that you would need for storing your ID and your cards. If you don't want to maybe carry a, you know, a, a very large wallet with you, uh, this would be suitable for carrying cards, you know, your ID, especially if you're out in the middle of nowhere. You want to make sure you have your ID and other things on you. Uh, you know, you never know in case something happens to you. People can, you know, find you and you have your ID uh, for, you know, obviously they can contact somebody. That's nice. And uh, it does feel like it's all leather. Nice stitch work on the outer side and stitch work in between the flaps, the, the card sections. And I've already shown you there's a little card section on the inside. Keep you, you keep some cash really for emergencies. If you're you know stuck out in the middle of nowhere, you need to uh, you know need to get yourself some food. Maybe you're nearby something that you can go into, buy food or buy gas. You never know. Uh, we also have this, which let's, have, let's open this up. Battle box is um, one of the more pricier subscription boxes but the trade-off though as you've seen is that you get a lot you get a lot of bang for your buck for, for inside and it looks like we've got ourselves I think this is a sleeping bag I feel like something on the end here as well let's pull this out I think oh you know what this could be because I feel a cord in the bottom here I'm wondering if it is let's pull this out See what we got here. I'm wondering if it's it's like um, a portable like overhang or almost a tent because I see the cording here. It's nylon. It's a nylon material. And I think. Let's see if the card actually indicates what's inside. Um, well, actually, you know what it does. I think it does. I'm looking at here, Bushcraft Necklace, uh, Advanced. Nylon Hammock, that might actually be what this is, a nylon hammock. Thompson Snare Survival Kit, we got the snares. Yeah, lightweight nylon hammock. 
plus that's that's where you factor in the additional pro plus so 300 dollars value you get the perkin knives uh damascus bushcraft knife which would be which was the larger item here that's right okay all right so moving along it's a good thing we actually had this available with it moving along we have this Oops. With and having a look at this, this is the is it the it's not the beeswax spool. I don't think it's this. Let's have a look here. Bushcrafters tools. Bushcrafters tools. Oh, fire piston. Oh, okay, I understand. A little piston included there as well. That's, and also with the bag there, bushcrafterstools.com. There it is right there, fire piston. Again, something else. I really should get together like a survival, little survival bag or, or tote I could keep in my car at all times. Again, you never know when you're stranded somewhere, especially if, if you go, um, if you go to your cottage, which in my case is a farther ways away. You know, you don't want to be stuck out in the middle of nowhere and not have the proper tools to survive. We have the Strike Survival, www.strikesurvival.com. This is actually what I thought this was initially, and it wasn't. This is the, let's get the kind of plastic here. There we go. This, I think, is for holding, is it for holding matches? I think it is, and the stripe on the side, yeah, I think it's actually for holding matches. Is there a way to open this up here? I think, I think that's what it is. Let's check here, let's have a look. This is the Strike, Strike Survival, Strike Survival Match Gen 2. How does it actually, it looks like it should be a container. I'm just trying to see if I can find a way to open it. Because it does feel like it's hollow. Like it would hold your matches. There's this strike on the side to strike your matches. Oh, I see what it is. I see what it is. There's the strike on the side. That, yeah. There is the, the equivalent of um, like the metal, what they strike... To, to to get a spark from it's on the side if that's what I'm understanding strike survive that that would explain what that is a little keychain though good thing it's actually on a keychain because keys are always usually something that you're going to carry around with you and finally I think the last thing no we got two other things here we got some charcoal char cloth and this would be if I'm again looking at this we have Well, just strike survival charcoal rope. So really, between that and then the strike uh, little strike keychain here, it's good again for your starting your fires. So again, something you'd want to hold on to and keep, uh, obviously with your sur your survival and first aid kits. We've got a necklace, bushcraft necklace. This primitive. A flint and steel fire starter resurrected in modernized wearable format. This bushcraft necklace is handcrafted in the USA from soft natural dye cowhide cord, a custom ceramic scraper, and fire steel. Whether it's night on the town or a month in the back country, this necklace is a home is at home in any environment. And this would be for again fi fighting or starting fires. Wazoo su uh, survival gear. Products that can save our wazoo. I see what they did there. Leather fire starter. And we've also got cut it, fluff it, and spark it. Beeswax jute tinder spool, which is, I think, there it is right there. Is what I thought the other thing was. A little starting spool. And I think that's it. I think that's everything else we got in here. We also got some cards. Burnaby gift card, break, build, and burn. This is also a smart idea. A, a card, a little business card here. It's $15 off a 45 uh, minimum purchase, a little code there, but it's on wood. So really you could use it after you've redeemed the code. Use it for helping you start the fires. A little magnifying 
uh, glass, there are magnifying lens there as well to help you start it. All of which, again, are survival tools that can help you out in the outdoors. If you guys are interested in having Battle Box delivered to your, to your house every single month, Spot's going to provide the link down below and you guys can subscribe today. It may not be everyone's thing, but if you are an outdoor enthusiast, somebody who likes being outside, and again, you never know, you never know when you're going to be stuck out there and you need to stay alive, Battle Box is the solution for you. Today's subscription box, once again, we are having a look at the Battle Box subscription box for the month of July. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more subscription boxes heading your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.